Okay guys, so I just did my flawless routine foundation thing. I've this is an it was an update because I'm trying to use up uh, foundation so and a concealer that I've had for years and I want to get rid of it. So that's why I did the update. Um, but it's kind of the same thing I did a long time ago. But anyway, I'm gonna do a makeup look for you guys today. Um, I tried to record it the other day, and it backfired on me. Um, I was halfway through and uh, doing the makeup look, and someone actually called me on my phone, and I was so upset because I can't edit. Well, I can edit, but I can't upload like after I edit a video because I would have to take it off my phone to put it on my um, laptop, so I couldn't do that because... We don't have internet where I where I live, um, so I just every time I make a video, I upload it right from my phone up to YouTube. So I'm going to do the same look, and hopefully no one bothers me. <laughs> They'll be so upset. But um, and if you hear vibration or something, that's my friend texting me. So your that's my friend texting me. So don't be too alarmed. But Anyway, what I'm going to do is start with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, number 604. So. Okay, what I do is I put this all over my lid, all the way up to the crease. I'm going to take my ring finger and kind of rub it in a little bit. Okay, and do the same on the other eye. And this is kind of like a base for the colors that I'm going to put on top. So, I got those. And I'm going to put this stuff up wide. Oh, and I'm moving you guys. Okay. Didn't want to do that. All right, I'm moving you guys. I didn't want to do that. Oh well. Um. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I have a white base now. I'm gonna go into my Glam If Eye Shadows palette. It has 36 eyeshadows in it. See if I can get it open. <laughs> so many of these hard to open. There it is. And they're all shiny. <coughs> See, I told you. Um, they're all shiny and glittery, um, but I'm going to take this really deep purple right here. Um, and I'm going to grab my brush I took, and I'm going to take this dome brush. I get all my brushes from um, Eco Tools. It's not a product placement. <laughs> I'm not getting paid to say that, but I love their brushes. Um, so I pounce it into the deepest purple. And I'm starting in that outer corner right here and placing most of the product right there. I have this mirror right here so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going right into the crease and kind of just working that in. I have a little bit up here, but it's no biggie. And then you grab more of the purple. Do the same on the other eye. Just place most of the product on the outer corner. And you're just going to work it on the end. Work it in. I can't see what I'm doing. Alright, and I kind of come down. Like I go where the outer V is, but I kind of bring it down kind of completes the eye. That makes sense. <laughs> now I'm going to take a different brush, a smaller defining brush. If I can find it. A smudger brush, again from Eco Tools, in that same dark purple. And I'm going to take that color on the bottom lash line, like, like right underneath. And I'm going to put liner and all that crap on too, but... Okay. 
it just finishes out the eye. Now I'm going to take this, um, this is Domi flat brush, and I'm going to take this lilac color, it's the lighter purple, and I'm going to take that, and I'm going to go right where I began that uh, dark purple, and go like halfway with the lilac color, and kind of blend those two together, just use them, they have a nice transition, like right where they meet, blend it a little bit, and it'll have like a nice transition to the next color. Okay, so it'll look like that, you guys can see that. Now, I'm going to take uh, my pigment, I have a pigment, and you can go over the colors again to make sure they're like as dark as you want them. You can even use a black or something like that. I'm going to take my pigment from e.l.f., and this is a MAC um, container because my e.l.f. container wasn't closing all the way. So, I got a math product so I can do this. <laughs> um, let's see if I can find it. I'm taking my little shader brush, it's really small. I'm taking this, and I'm going to put this on the inner corner where it's white. Sorry. And kind of blending it in with the lilac color because it'll go dark purple, light purple, and like a pinkish. Because this pigment is white, but it has a pink shimmer to it. And you can go around the inner corner. And then you do the same on the other eye. I hope that music's loud, like loud enough for you guys so you guys can hear it, but it's not like overpowering anything. And yes, this is a dramatic eye, but I've been doing this a lot lately. The same look, just different colors. I did it with a blue, I did it with a black, I did it with a green. I mean, I've been doing the same look with this, these different colors each time. And it's amazing. I love it. And I've gotten a lot. I get. I get. I get a lot of compliments on this eye look. I'm gonna deepen that purple just a hair more because it is like fading for me. And I kind of bring it onto the brow bone, just a little bit. bit. And I do like a big bold eye. I don't know why I do, but I just absolutely adore it. I love it so much. I'm going to take that same pigment that I used in the inner corner, and I'm going to take that same shader brush, if I can find it again, and taking that pigment again, and I'm going right underneath the brow. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm not out of frame. And do that on the other side. I also want to use this as a highlighter. I get it on my finger. Go down the bridge of my nose. Across my forehead right here. Use it so. Chin. Now I'm going to take my foundation brush and kind of blend it a little bit. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see me because I don't know if you guys can. <laughs> um, Alright, now i got to do my brows. So I'm going to get this e.l.f. palette. Um... And I'm gonna take this really deep matte, the matte, matte brown right here, and get my angled eco tool brush. 
and I'm going to take that onto my brush and fill in your brows. My brows are always different. I hope you guys can see me. To me, an eyebrow, like eyebrows, like frame your eye, so it like brings everything out more. I think, and maybe just me, but I I think it does. Now I'm gonna take, now I'm gonna take my Sally's Boutique eyeliner, which I got from Sally's. I have a video I I talk about this like eyeliner all the time. I freaking love it. But I'm taking it like right. If you look st uh, forward. I'm going right from my pupil on the bottom line, from my pupil to the outer corner, and then I'm going to line the top line. So. And even though I have that purple in there. You can do a wing, you can do whatever you want, but I just kind of just go into where my eye ends. And that's the eyes. The only thing I really have to do now is eye mascara. And this is something my mom got, and <laughs> this is actually hers, but I stole it from her because she said she didn't like it. It's Benefit Fair Real Sampler. I got it, we got it from Sephora for her birthday. And I absolutely love this stuff. And you can curl your lashes. I don't have to because my lashes are like always curly. No matter what. Which really kind of is weird. And my eyelashes are freaking long. I didn't realize it until the other day. My mom told me they were like hellaciously long. I was like, no, uh, she's like, yeah. And I'm doing the. Do the bottom. I usually don't do the bottom. Because it freaks me out to do the bottom ones. But. There's that. Now, sorry, my nose is itching. That looked probably like so sexy when I did that. Oh, my freaking roof in my mouth is itching. I don't like it. Okay, now I'm going to take my NARS Super Orgasm Illuminator, which I got at Plus Sephora as a sample. And I put it right underneath, right here. This could bring out some color. The sun will make it boom. Now I'm going to contour my face. I'm using this um, bronzer from uh, Sally's. I hope no one comes in while I'm doing this. Every time I do a video, they always bug me. <laughs> so I'm taking my little Sally's brush and I kind of squeeze it with the hair and I kind of go. I don't do very much because I blend it very well. You just do it in the hollows of your cheeks. You can go around your jaw with it. Go down your neck just a little bit. You can do your nose. I really don't do my nose. I really don't take pictures. 
unless it's like a special occasion, then I do. Um, there's that, and then, what else do I have to do? Lips. Lips, lips, lips. I'm going to just do a nude lip because it is a big, bold eye. I'm going to take my NYX. I hate using this thing. But, because I don't want to use it up. I'm taking my NYX in orange soda. Got it from Ulta. And you see like one pass, like seriously. Because I don't really want to use it all. That. Then I have this Victoria's Secret lip gloss and plumper in one. And it leaks. So, that's the only thing I don't like about this thing. It leaks. But I kind of roughly go around my lips. It's on the bottom. And that's basically it. <laughs> so if you guys like this look, leave it in the comments below. And let me know what you like about it, what you don't like about it. So um, I will see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe and like and all that stuff. So I will talk to you guys later. Alright, bye guys.